I sure... What, what's going on? Reva. For good? I don't think he's coming back. Well, then that... Maybe she would like to be alone, Josh. Maybe. Or I can, I can get Cassie for her. Olivia. I have to go in there. Reva's in a lot of pain right now. She's all alone. Olivia. Don't look at me like that. Like you think I'm gonna crumble into a million little pieces because I can't take your pity, Josh. I never could. How about a shoulder to lean on? <laughs> It sounds like a bad country song. Well, sometimes I am a bad country song. Reva, I'm not going anywhere. We can talk or not talk. Well, there's nothing to say. He's gone and he's not coming back. But Reva, I saw him fight to save your life. He would have traded places with you if he could. Now, what happened between then and now? Did you have a fight? No, no, no. There wasn't a fight. It was all very... I told him I wanted to marry him soon. Now, anywhere he wanted, but it was too late. It shouldn't be civil. It shouldn't be easy, especially now. You almost lost your life. He still loves me. How could somebody who loves you that much leave you like that? We left each other with all the love in the world. He fought for it, Reva. He fought for you. And then he walked out the back door. A door I opened. I mean, I did that. I broke his heart and I broke my own. It was me. Is that what he told you? Did he blame you for this? No. Oh, no. No. He blames us. He said he was leaving me. Because I was still in love with you. You told him you still love me. No, of course not. I didn't, I didn't tell him anything. Then where is all this coming from? He says it's still there. That it's something he can't compete with. So this is about his insecurity? No. No, this is about how he felt. Every time he walked in a room, he felt like he was walking in on us. But what about the rescue, Reva? That must have brought you closer. When I was down there, half conscious, the only voice I heard was yours. But he was the one that went down there to save your life, Reva. What difference does it make who was talking to you on the radio? I never asked for him. You were a little busy. You were trying to survive an earthquake, Reva. You almost died. But even before the earthquake, when everything was fine and, and I was safe, I still postponed the wedding. Reva, he, he proposed to you. You said yes. And then you got sidetracked by something called blindness. You had to start working out your whole life all over again. Now, no one can fault you for that. I can. We shared a lifetime of love together. We shared children together. We taught each other how to love. If the people that are in our lives can't deal with the reality of that, then it's their problem, it's not ours. 
use that as an excuse for holding back with Noah. He was the man I loved. He was the man I was going to marry, but yet I didn't want to see him. And there has to be a reason for that. Reba, you're tired. You're exhausted. Don't say anything Joshua, else. Joshua, I... Don't say it, hate Reba. Hate you. You hate me. I hate us. I hate the history. I hate the fact. Of us. I hate the fact that we're not even married and people still see us together, Reva and Josh, always, like it or not. You can't erase our history. You can't... You can't do that. Our marriage is a fact. Our children are a fact. No, we have to learn to live without each other. We have to stop hurting people. Not hurting people. I, you were faithful, so was I. Noah walked out on you, and somehow he's managed to make you feel guilty for that. What was I supposed to do? Leave you down there in that hole? I couldn't do that, Reva. Joshua, what if always really is always? Huh? What if this thing that's between us really is forever? How do we live separate lives? We're separate people. How do we do that? I don't want to live separate lives. I can't imagine my life without you in it. The man I am was built around my love for you. See? That's the reality. Nothing can change that. It's not some ghost or curse that we have to live with. We can't hate what we were. All we can do is deal with the reality of who we are to each other right now, today. The reality is that my fiancé just walked out of my life, probably for good, and you closed the doors on your own wife and left her standing there in the hallway. Whatever this is that's going on between us, it's always been between us, it's going to always get in the way no. of our trying to love no, someone else. No, that is not yes. the truth, yes. Reba, and it doesn't have to be... Oh. Reba, it's okay, I got you. Oh. I caught her. 